Hello everyone, I hope you're all well and having a wonderful summer so far. It feels very good to be back. So as the title would suggest, today I'm sharing 10 chic all white outfits for you to try with my personal favourite white on white summer fashion. All of the outfit ideas will be linked in the description box below. Plus I have a special update on why my skin is currently looking so very glowing thanks to current body. So let's dive straight in. So let's start with outfit number one, which is a casual everyday outfit that I found myself wearing an awful lot throughout summer so far. So starting with a silk camisole. Now I would say this is a bit of a staple piece for my own wardrobe. And although I did spend a little bit more on it than say other camisoles you can buy across the high street, I really have got my wear out of it. And I think the quality shines through and, and makes my outfits look more elevated as a result. Now these are a favorite pair of white denim shorts, which again, I've worn an awful lot this summer. They're just a really, really comfy pair of shorts. And I'm not even a big fan of wearing shorts full stop. So it's rare for me to find a pair that I like. And in fact, actually, I like the shape so much that I bought them again in the uh, classic indigo denim. The trick I think with denim shorts, but specifically this particular style is to size up. That way they're going to sit a little bit looser on your hips, not dig in anywhere, and also give you a little bit of extra width around the thigh area, which I find a bit more flattering. And then to complete this first white on white outfit, I've often been styling it just with a shirt over the top. I think sometimes just with a camisole, although it's a nice look, in the sunshine when it's been really hot outside, I don't want to get burnt, so I just feel the need for an extra lightweight layer. And on top of that, as an all white outfit, I do think it makes a nice finishing touch really, makes it feel pulled together. I haven't really got OCD, but it is really annoying me that all those hangers are facing the wrong way. And now I've just messed it up by putting those that way. I'll have to live with it. We're right in the middle of filming. So my second white on white outfit is a little bit more dressed up, but I wanted to show you how different fabric compositions can change the whole vibe of the outfit. But anything that feels a little bit silkier, and by that I don't mean you have to go and buy 100% silk. It could be something like Lyocell, for example, that's got a really lovely drape to it. But just having that very soft and floaty and quite feminine looking drape can really have a nice effect on your outfits and make them feel a bit more polished and put together. So a little combination of the two there, a new blouse that's new in my wardrobe about a month ago. Now the tones don't match perfectly, but that doesn't bother me at all when I'm making these white on white outfits. In actual fact, I think it makes those outfits even more interesting if you deliberately mix in a few different tones of whites within one outfit. So don't worry about trying to be very matchy matchy with it. I actually think it's a bonus if you don't. So something nice for the evening and hopefully a little bit of inspiration of how you can start some similar pieces you might have on your own rail. Just a quick mention, the best way you can support my channel is by pressing the like button. And if you're not already subscribed, that would be very much appreciated too. So on to outfit three, and actually I wanted to share this, although it's a really chilled everyday outfit, there was a bit of a method to my madness because this is actually what I wore on the plane to head over on our holiday. Now my reason being for these particular pair of trousers is one, I absolutely love them. I definitely wanted to take them away into the sunshine with me, but they're quite a heavy cotton. And David forced me on this last trip to only have a carry-on suitcase, which if you're not brilliant at traveling long, which I'm definitely not, is a bit of a nightmare. So I decided to wear them on the plane and it totally worked. So to make it a little bit more plane appropriate, I took with me one of my favorite cardigans. That again, going white on white or a crew on a crew, worked nicely with the trousers. And I just added a little vest top underneath. This is one of my favorites actually in terms of shape. Do let me know actually in the comments below, which of these is your favorite outfit? Which could you see yourself wearing? I actually really love that plane outfit. I think I should probably wear that out not just save it for the plane. So as I mentioned earlier, lots of you have very kindly been complimenting me on my skin of late and wanting to know my secret. And it's thanks in part to Current Body that I've currently got this lovely glow going on. Now, some of you might remember I've been using their LED light therapy mask, which I started back in April now, and I've been doing it every day for about 10 minutes. Well, I think, and hopefully you agree, the proof is very much in the pudding because I can really see a huge difference on my skin. Now for full disclosure, let me share a few different things I've been doing on my skin these last couple of months. So I've used a combination of Current Body's Light Therapy Mask. Then there was Lipgate, which was a complete and utter disaster. Having a very, very tiny amount of lip filler in my top lip, I definitely wouldn't recommend it and I would never ever do it again. But on the flip side of that, there was that lovely micro needling treatment that I had with the exosomes. That was really lovely and I'd do that again. So a little bit of a combination of different treatments, but 
other than that, it's just been my usual skincare routine. And I think it's fair to say my skin has never looked and actually felt this good for a long, long time, actually. Before I started using the light therapy mask, I would describe my skin as very gray looking, really lackluster. I got a few lines and wrinkles around my eyes, but to be honest with you, it wasn't my wrinkles that were really bothering me. It was the tone of my skin and that really gray, dull look. But let me just come close so you can see. I think my pigmentation, particularly around this area where it was really bad, I think that's hugely improved. That's something that was bugging me to try and get that even skin tone. But a happy bonus of it as well is that I just look so glowing in my cheeks. It just made me look really fresh and healthy. So the LED mask uses clinically proven wavelengths of red and near infrared lights to really deeply penetrate and stimulate those skin cells. And it not only boosts collagen production, which I think I can see in my own cheeks, but it also helps with blood circulation as well. It's loved by the likes of Dr. Dre, Dr. Nira, and a whole host of celebrities. And it's very, very easy to use. I mean, I'm not going to put it on now because I will completely mess up my hair, but you just put it on, velcro it at the back, and quite literally just turn it on like so. <laughs> now, as you would hope, I do have an exclusive discount code for you all. Simply enter the code Jessica S at checkout to receive that 10% off. So at the end of this video, please do click the link in the description box below, head over to Current Body's website and specifically the LED light therapy and have a read of all the information for yourselves that's on there. And there's loads of before and after pictures as well. But from my personal experience, I am really impressed with the results and I shall be carrying on with this on a daily basis. Okay. I don't know what number we're on to, but another lovely white on white outfit idea. Now I knew I wanted to style this beautiful silk skirt that my friend's label made actually by committee. It is my go-to silk skirt, not only out of loyalty for my lovely friend, but it's such a beautiful fit. I love the way it sits across my tummy particularly. Now you might have seen me wear this an awful lot throughout winter actually. I love styling it with long chunky knits and that works really nicely. It's quite an elevated, almost quiet luxury kind of look, I suppose. And on my top half, I've added did this lovely little jacket that I actually got from Goelia. Now again, as you can see, I haven't been fussy about matching the white on white tones, but actually I quite like that they don't. By having two different tones of white, you're giving the outfit more depth and more contrast. I also like the fact that this is made from cotton, so that's sitting against the silk. It's a lovely contrast of textures. And then of course you've got the gold buttons here, which is just adding another layer of detail. It was a bit of an impromptu outfit idea actually. I've never worn those two together until now, but now that I've styled it, I think I definitely need to wear that one out. So next up in my white on white outfits for summer to quite a classic look that's become super on trend, particularly this season. And that would of course be the humble waistcoat. Now these are actually from two different brands. My waistcoat is from an Australian brand called Dish and my tailored linen trousers are from Jenny Kane. But in actual fact, both fabric composition and the color is nigh on perfect. So they work really, really nicely together. Now I'm going to remember about sizes because I always forget, but I would say I am a true UK 10. Or I go for a small in lots of tops and I go for a size 28 in trousers and jeans, etc. With Dish, I was very confused on the sizing. I didn't really know what I was doing because of course it's an Australian. So I went for an Australian six, which is a USA four. And as you can see on me being a true UK 10, it's a tiny bit big. Now for me, I would say it's perfectly oversized. I like it like that. However, if you wanted it fitting a little bit tighter, I would suggest sizing down. Now as an all white outfit, this does make me feel particularly elevated and really polished and put together all the good stuff. You've got that little nod towards the fashion trend with the waistcoat, but equally it's still a very timeless outfit. And on top of that, because it's in all white, it does make me feel really elegant. So a bit of an all rounder outfit really with that one that I do seem to reach for an awful lot. So onto the outfit I'm wearing actually is I've got two different variations of this one. So this is a very pretty sweetheart neckline top that I spotted online and was very kindly sent from Nobody's Child. However, when it arrived initially, when I took it out of the package, I thought, oh, it's too short. It's gonna be like a crop top. Well, in actual fact, I think I really lucked out because it's shorter than I normally wear. However, it's just sitting, as you can see, 
at the height of this waistband on this particular skirt. So I've been styling it a lot with this skirt, but it also does work really nicely with, I don't know where they are, but with my white linen trousers as well. I can wear those quite high-waisted and then you just see a tiny, tiny slither of skin, which is fine. But it's got these really pretty puff sleeves, a little bit of elastic at the hem, so it's making them puff over. I love the neckline, that's one of my absolute favorites. But just as an alternative, I then styled this skirt, which again is a bit of a favorite for me. I did another white on white outfit with sort of more of a relaxed linen shirt. As you can see, this one's got quite a boxy shape. And I think if you're trying to make your outfits feel, you want them elevated and looking polished, the white on white is a really easy style tip to be able to do that. But if you want it to feel more relaxed and casual and everyday kind of style, a lot of it is to do with the shapes. So as you can see with this top that I'm wearing right now, it's quite fitted and it makes it look very neat and tidy. So then it feels a little bit more dressed up. But when I wear something quite boxy and floaty and oversized, it naturally gives it a more casual feel, both of which would work for different occasions. So depending on what you're doing, just bear in mind the different shapes of your white items that you've got in your wardrobe because it can make a difference to the overall feel. Let's get those hangers off there because it's annoying me that they're empty and I've only just spotted it. Now really stating the obvious here, but if you would like to do a white on white outfit and you're a fan of it in summer like I am, an easy way would of course be to go for a dress. It's one piece and you're completely done, you don't have to think about anything. But a nice thing to do if you are going to go down that route, either long or short, is to think about the texture of the fabric that you're going for. Because with that one piece and you're done, although that is a joy in terms of styling, you don't want it to feel bland in any way. So thinking about the texture of that fabric is a really easy way to add more interest into those looks. So this one, for instance, is it looks a bit funny now unless I tie it up a little bit. This is a wrap dress that I got from Mara Hoffman. Oh, it's not gonna wrap very nicely on the hanger but hopefully you can see in this outfit idea, it looks a lot nicer on than it does with my really bad wrapping here. However, yes, it's a wrap dress, but the texture of this organic cotton is slightly waffle-esque. That's the nearest way I could describe it because it's quite unusual actually. It's quite crinkly looking, deliberately so. So that, first of all, gives this particular dress a lot more interest. A wrap shape is nothing new. We've got lots of wrap dresses out there on the high street at the moment, but the combination of that fabric composition with the wrap, with it being short, and those beautiful big puff sleeves overall ends up making it look a lot more interesting than it would in say just plain fabrics and simple sleeves. So when you're making your own white on white outfits, it's really important to try and pick those pieces apart, so to speak, when you see them on the rail in the shops or online, etc., and try and say, okay, has it got three interesting points of difference on it? Would it be the sleeves, the fabric composition, the shape? Sorry, teenage dramas. <laughs> the joys of having a 17 year old. <laughs> Oh, it's lovely. So where was I? Yes, the combination of the fabric composition, the sleeves, the wrap shape being a slightly shorter length, it all goes together to make a much more interesting white on white outfit idea, in my humble opinion. Now, another item I found in the depths of my spring summer wardrobe was this really lovely jumpsuit. And I say a lovely jumpsuit, but I haven't worn it until today for about, a year, I think, which is just a bit bonkers when I actually really like the fit. And in actual fact, it's a very old one that I got from Gap probably four years ago, I think. It's made from 100% cotton, it was really affordable, and the shape is great. And another very easy way to wear an all white outfit idea and feel a bit more put together in quite a casual fashion. I don't normally wear jumpsuits actually, mainly because I don't find many that fit me well because I'm quite long in the body. But this particular one was a really good fit. And there's something quite cute actually about jumpsuits or overalls or dungarees even. They just got a little vibe about them that I quite like. So to accentuate that a little bit more, I often with items like this, do a couple of turn ups so you see a little bit more of your skin at your ankle, mainly because you're so very covered from the neck down. It's quite nice to have a little bit of skin there, a little bit of skin showing at your neckline, and then the fabric doesn't feel like it's swamping you as such. So now that I've dragged it out the back of my wardrobe, 
I intend on wearing that a little bit more as I do like the shape. Hopefully you like it too. Now a little bit like going for a summer dress or perhaps a jumpsuit. When you're thinking about the white on white summer fashion trend, opting for a co-ord is a really easy way to make those outfits work. But also the joy of those co-ords is down to their versatility really because you can then mix and match those pieces in gazillion different ways. So this is actually part of a co-ord set that I got from a independent British brand called Tallulah and Hope. Now you might have heard me talk about them, well if you've been a subscriber for a long time I was talking about them way back when in the beginning, but they're sort of particularly well known for doing these amazing beautiful embroidered prints on their items of clothing. So that's kind of their speciality, these absolutely stunning prints. I'll put some images up here so you can have a look. But this time when they very kindly uh, offered to send me a couple of pieces, I decided to go with something plainer, but something that had the detail in that same lovely shape that there is their signature and also with these beautiful embroidery details. So this is the top part of the set and as you can see it's got this really gorgeous kimono style shape, those big wide sleeves with that lovely embroidery detail across the hem, little flower details all around the chest and then it just ties around the waist and comes out into again another bit of embroidery on the hem. I decided to style that with something a little bit dressed down with my denim shorts again. This was a nice way to reuse the top in a different way and make it feel a little bit more casual and everyday throughout summer. I think inadvertently when I'm making my outfit ideas, just generally actually, but particularly when you're going with one colour, I do seem to focus an awful lot on contrast, be it with the shape of the top contrasting with the shape of the bottom half or the contrast with the fabric composition. Because I think when you haven't got colour to play with or print as such, those little details will make your outfit feel more interesting as a result. Next up onto an outfit idea which in a great British summer we all need a good cardigan or two still in our wardrobes and this would be one that I've been reaching for an awful lot. So I'm getting the warmth I sometimes need from that lovely knitted cotton texture but being short sleeves obviously makes it a bit more summer appropriate. I love the texture of this one as well and the type of yarn knit that they've done that's making it feel a bit more interesting and really drawing the eye upwards and then of course you've got the gold buttons as well adding a little bit more detail and I can tie that in with my jewellery and just add in maybe a couple of accents of tan with this particular one. My jeans as you can see are quite beige looking, probably the most beige item I've got on that rail and actually thinking about all the different tops I've got on that rail I would wear those with pretty much everything. It's quite nice to have that deeper shade of beige actually, it just mixes up those different colours nicely. But yes, that for me is for a colder day in our great British summers, but hopefully a nice combination, even if we do still have to reach for the knits sometimes. So this is a favourite linen dress of mine that I got a couple of months ago. I absolutely love the shape, so much so actually I've also got it in the khaki green on my rail. It's just a very classic and timeless everyday dress that is perfect for summer. I love it. Now I've worn this a lot throughout summer already just on its own and sometimes adding a little accent of tan or black and I put my two-tone ballet flats with it, that's a nice look, but I didn't want it to just be saved for those types of occasions. So I wanted to try and twist it a little bit and see if I could make it work as workwear. Sorry that's a lot of works in there. I was heading down to London, had a few meetings, knew I wanted to wear this dress and so I decided to layer over the top my lovely linen blazer and actually that combination of different shapes I think worked really really nicely. The blazer is a tiny bit oversized and I think that really worked with this particular dress because you've got that lovely fullness at the bottom with the hem. It did initially just white on white like this look a little bit too much of a block so I added that belt at my waistband which just helps draw the eye to that area, break up that block of fabric and that very simple addition of adding the blazer suddenly made it look Looks so much more work appropriate and then mean I can get even more uses out of a dress that I love. And a side note actually a white linen blazer I think is invaluable to have in your summer wardrobe because pretty much every single outfit I have shown you today would work and look really lovely and very elevated 
with that blazer layered over the top. Well, I have no idea if that was actually about 10 outfits or a lot more. I feel like I've talked an awful lot. But hopefully these white on white outfit ideas that I really love and have worn a lot throughout summer have just given you lots and lots of outfit ideas and inspiration of how to style similar pieces that I imagine you've already got in your own wardrobes. And that's what I'm here for really, just to keep giving you inspiration of new ways to style pieces you already have, just mixing it up a little bit and perhaps in ways that you might not have thought of. If you did enjoy this video, I would be very grateful for a thumbs up. And like I mentioned earlier, if you're not already subscribed and you enjoyed all these outfit ideas, it'd be really lovely if you'd like to do so. Don't forget to click the link in the description box below and take a look at the current body LED light therapy mask. Have a wonderful week, everyone. It feels really, really lovely to be back and I'm looking forward to catching up with you all in the comments section. See you later.